Welcome to the Florida Courts eFiling Portal. Today we're going to discuss the virus scan that will be implemented into production on March the 2nd. The portal will now scan all documents submitted for a virus or for malware. If virus or malware is detected in your submission, it will be immediately sent to the correction queue. When you log into the portal, on your My Alerts page, you will see that your submission is in the correction queue and the remarks column will say potential virus or malware threat detective. When you're going through the filing process, we'll go and file from our My Submissions page. We'll click on the Pleading button which is going to go back to the county and search that county for the case information, provide to you the style of the case and all your case information. You move on to the party screen, add your document, and we will attach a document that has a virus attached to it We'll go on to our service list page, fees and payments, and finally review and submit. You will see once you click on the review and submit button, it takes you to your filing received confirmation page. On that filing received confirmation page, if a virus or malware threat is detected, your submission will go immediately to the pending queue. You will also receive an email in your email provider that lets you know that submission has gone to a correction queue. This email tells you explicitly that there was a potential virus or malware threat detected in your submission. It also explains to you that there is no date or file stamp time on that document. The date and time stamp will not be placed on the document until it has been replaced and resubmitted. If you go back to the My Filings or the My Submission page, you will also see that your submission is in the pending queue. To get back to that correction queue, we'll do so from your My Alerts page. You click on the filing number that takes you into the correction queue. You'll see that there is a potential virus or malware threat detected so you would have recreated your document. Then you would go through the screens to your Documents tab. And if you would like to keep the file stamp date and time of when this doc was a document was originally submitted, you replace the document, do not remove. If you remove the document, and add a new document, it will take the file stamp date and time of the time you are currently doing this. To retain the official file stamp date and time of when you originally sent in this document, replace by clicking on the link, choose your document title, and upload a new document that you have created using a different browser or a different word processor or a different computer, one that does not have a virus or malware. So we'll go ahead and attach our document. Click on Save. Click on Next. You'll see our service list was retained from the original submission. Click on Next and confirm and submit all now. And if you go back to your My Submissions page, 
you'll see that this submission is now pending with the county. The document was file stamped and service has been made. So this becomes effective this evening, March the 2nd, and will be implemented and in place and working the morning of March 3rd. Click here if you would like to read more information about this process. There's also access to the YouTube video here. Thank you.